On today's episode of Things Set to Destroy My Peace, I woke up this morning and I came downstairs. I was like, right, time to get my morning started. Grabbed my Bible, sat here like I usually do, opened him up. I was like, okay, let me turn on my laptop. Let me get the, let me set the mood. Let me put on some gospel music. Let me just create an ambiance. Anyway, turned on my laptop, everything was cool, cushy. Then my Wi-Fi just wasn't working. I was like, what's going on? Why is that? I go into the cupboard, check to see if the Wi-Fi is there. It's turned off. How did it turn off? How did my Wi-Fi turn off? How did my internet provider turn off? Hmm? I'll wait. So, it turns out the bloody, um, what do you call it, the circuit? I don't know, some kind of situation in my cupboard. One of them was up, so I was like, great. So when that happens, it usually means half the lights in the house aren't working and the cooker won't work and the hot water and heating won't turn on because it's off. Okay, let me show you. Take a tour, let's take a tour. Came in here and this thing was down and everything else, as you can see, was up. So I was like, okay, this is the problem. So anyway, I go to turn it on and it just goes <laughs> every time I put it up. <laughs> and I was like, girl, like, we ain't got time for that. I then had to call out an engineer, bearing in mind this is a Sunday. Engineers hardly work on Sundays. So my mom gives them a call and she's like, um, the electrics is down, blah, blah, blah. And the person was like, oh, is it everything in the house or is it just certain parts of the house? And he was like, certain parts of the house. She was like, oh, well, we can't get someone out for you today because it's not an emergency. So I took over and I was like, it is an emergency. We have no hot water, we have no heating, we can't cook food. It's a Sunday, Sunday roast, yeah. And then she was like, oh, okay, well, we maybe can send someone out for you today. So that's how my morning started. I plan to um, go to Tesco's to get some tender stem for my salmon tonight, which I won't be having, because guess what? I'm waiting on an engineer who hasn't called to say he's on his way. And then on top of that, I was like, you know what, let me just try again to see if the switch will go up. And it did. So now everything's working fine, glory to God. But I now have to wait for an engineer to tell him that everything's okay because I don't want him to come to the house and then no one's here and it's disrespectful. I've just probably taken that man out of his house. And I can't get my tender stem properly. Yeah. It's Monday, a new month, a new week. I'm ready to roll. Today, our task is to get to the post office. And whilst doing that, I'm gonna walk there to make sure I get my, I'm not gonna walk back so it won't be 15K steps, but it'll be close enough. I have these two cutesy packages to send off. This from Depop, and this is a lovely little care package for somebody. Other than that, What's on the agenda? Nothing much, very boring life. I was gonna get some work done in Starbucks today and then I thought, no, I'm fasting and if I smell coffee and I smell croissants, I'm gonna want it. So why do that to myself? Why suffer? So I'm gonna come back home, get some work done, hopefully start editing this vlog and then make some dividends. jumped into my bottom. Not me vlogging. <laughs> I'm a vlogger now. Is that a new 
section And all my people in the Hooterville section tag thing so I was like okay fair enough get that and then got to the till self-service and it said 160 and I was like oh well let me just try my club card 89p every little helps girl 89p look at this 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 looks organic you can't get this everywhere it stinks 89 pence yes that's what I call a bargain. Tender stem broccoli is that girl. Like she just makes that dish. Like the crunch, season it with a little black pepper, a little bit of Himalayan salt, drizzle a little olive oil. Oh, girl, girl. I'm gonna wash this in salt because honestly, I do not trust. They're really clean though, but I don't care. I'm put, we're putting them in salt and then just in case there's any little bugs and stuff. I'm a bit of a chef, you know, like I can chef it up. Just a little, like any Jamaican dish, I can cook curry chicken, I can salt fish, fried dumpling, wild dumpling, um, curry goat, roast dinner, Jamaican style, salmon, my family love when I make salmon, um, cupcakes, cakes, Anything sweet, anything savory, your girl's got it. I'm good. So whoever my husband is, you gonna be eating good. You gonna be eating good. Tender stem broccoli. Tender stem broccoli. Tender stem broccoli. Tender stem. Tender stem. Okay. Too much. You want some light soy sauce? Two spoonfuls, okay? What was that? Yeah. Right, you want it. Oh god. I don't like to waste anything, okay? Because I grew up in the, yeah. You wanna get some honey? And I just, until I feel like there's enough. Ah! Well, that's messy. And then you wanna spin that together. Who called my phone? Add your garlic. Let's do a good mix around. Voila. Voila. Add your piece of salmon. Voila. Flip the script. Just get some of that garlic on there. And soy. Drizzle that. Over, love lovely stuff. We don't waste in this house. We don't waste. Just a little spoon and just make sure you're what? Is this basting? Girl, we using terminology. We basting the salmon, yes. So I'm just gonna put some 
butter in here because we are mashing it. So we need some butter. We don't waste in this house. We don't waste in this house. Next up, season your tender stems. Gonna need a drizzle of olive oil, like so, like that. Hear me, Tabitha Brown from Black Careful. <laughs> some Himalayan salt. <gasps> Shucks, that was a bit much. Ignore that. And then you just wanna massage it in. Oh my God, why are they so tough? Don't judge me. Hold on. Just drizzle that in there. Oops, maybe too much. This is a workout, my God. Okay, watch the gourmet now, watch it. Come on. It looks stiff, but I promise it's, it's gonna be nice, don't worry. Bit of parsley. Chef, that's me. Get me on Master Chef now. Get me on Master Chef now. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end if you have, and God bless you all, and I will see you in the next vlog.